Hello viewers and today I've got another awesome off meta loadout that you can use in Warzone and today I am using the Grau 556. Now at first glance this weapon on the screen definitely does not look like the standard Grau that you'd use and that's because I have turned the Grau assault rifle into an SMG. This means I've massively sped up the movement speed as well as improving the hit fire and the sprint to fire time and things like that. But I've also managed to improve the vertical recoil. Very often it's the case when you shorten the barrel and lighten the load as it were on the weapon, that the recoil usually increases. But it's actually the recoil control that's going to be increasing on this secret growl SMG. But before I break down these attachments for you and show you some awesome gameplay that I've got with this weapon, Happen. It would be amazing if you could consider subscribing to the channel. I'm working my way towards 800 subscribers and I just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribes, likes, comments and just watches the video. It means a lot to me even during this trying time of Warzone where not so many people are playing it but there are a few of us still that are persisting and trying to enjoy the game as much as possible. If you want to jump straight into Warzone and use this secret growl SMG then feel free to pause the video here because these are the attachments that I'm using. And so starting off in the muzzle attachment slot I'm using an attachment that I've probably never featured on this channel and that is the muzzle brake. The muzzle brake will improve primarily the recoil stabilisation. This is the left and right deviation of the end of the barrel during full auto fire and this will improve that horizontal bounce by 20% meaning that there is essentially no horizontal bounce to have to contend with and this means that we can just focus on controlling that vertical recoil which is a lot easier to control. In the barrel attachment slot I am using a very interesting barrel attachment and that is the ZLR Drifter A-08 barrel. The, as it says this is an ultra short 5.3 inch barrel with a built in foregrip which allows for first class agility and manoeuvrability without sacrificing recoil control and there is a hell of a lot of pros that you can get from this barrel. It will improve aim down sight time by 38 milliseconds, movement speed is increased by 2%, aim down sight movement speed is increased by a whopping 16% and vertical recoil is reduced by 12% as well as hip fire accuracy getting an improvement of 6% and sprint speed is also improved by 2%. The only two downsides are in range and bullet velocity at 20 and 30% respectively but as this is an SMG the range and the bullet velocity is something that we're not having to rely on quite so much compared to its assault rifle counterpart. As this is an SMG variant of the weapon, we want to improve even further that hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed from the barrel and the 5 milliwatt laser will do exactly that because it will improve sprint to fire time by 46 milliseconds, tactical sprint to fire time will be improved by 79 milliseconds and hip fire area gets the best boost of them all at a minus 60% bloom. This means that with the 60 round mag I'm going to show you in just a second, the hip fire is actually a very viable option in those close range engagements when you're not feeling that confident on ADSing and you just want to sort of pin down the enemy with your bullets. As I mentioned, here is the 60 round mags. Of course, this does make the weapon a little bit heavier, but it also means that we don't have to spend as much time reloading and therefore our DPS is going to be higher. This will increase the aim down sight time by a very small four milliseconds and movement speed does decrease by 3%, but that only simply counteracts what we've gained with the barrel. So it's sort of a net zero improvement, but the doubling of the mag sides is really what we're after because we can take on multiple enemies without having to reload. And for the final attachment in the stock attachment slot, I'm using the XRK Strike Light 3. This will massively improve the aim walking movement speed by 13% as well as the barrel improving it by 16%, we can actually aim in and move extremely quickly. The reason why this is so important is because it means that we are extremely hard to hit as we are firing at the enemy and they're having to track quite a fast moving target that is dealing damage to them. 
But let me know down in the comments if you do give this secret Growl SMG a go. It's a really fun and interesting loadout and it's definitely different from the normal Iron Sights beaming AR meta loadout that most people use. But let me know if you give it a go nonetheless. And leave a like if you enjoy the video and subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the gameplay. Hello. Oh, good start. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this fucker out. Yeah. Cool. That could have been one of the quickest games of Warzone ever. Then. There's another person. Enemy dropping into the AO. Enemy sentry gun active. They're everywhere. <sighs> right, I think dead silence helps then. There's an enemy team hunting you. Have a bit of that. Luckily they missed every shot, but I haven't got much cover here. I'm gonna have to push back to that warehouse. I think he he's still over there. Oh yeah, recon. There he well it might not be him actually. There's there's two. Oh hang on. And there's a third. So that guy just killed the guy in the hedge, and then someone there they are. Just trying a third party. What am I then? The fourth party? That depends whether I shoot him and actually hit. Damn it. So think about using so many different guns, you forget what the bullet, bullet velocities are for the snipers. Damn. Oh. Keeps changing direction. Right. I need to stop anticipating where he's going to go. I just need to shoot where he is. There we go. There we go. Right. I was anticipating the shot because I've been using that M82. Lower bullet velocity. Enemy UAV overhead. You're losing ground. Oh, I thought that was a person then. It was a blooming plant. UAV, anyone about? Yes, there are people about. Right, whereabouts are they then? Oh, there's a guy really close. Oh, he's flying. And there's another guy down the hill. By the shop. Enemy UAV over here. Oh, I bet that was... Yep. Yeah. He just bought that UAV. Damn. He thought he was confident then. Ooh. But I knew he was there. Oh. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, that's a good chunk of damage. Got him. And that is why we put the 60 round mag even on an SMG. Oh, there's a car coming. I was tempted to use a mine then, but... Oh my 
my god. Oh, how many bullets did that table and chair sponge then? It was absorbed like 30 of the rounds. You'd think you'd think the bullets would go through them. God, he's gone all the way up there, look. There he is. Oh, he's just died. Has he just been sniped? I didn't hear a shot then. But that's money on the floor. Well, let's see if he comes back for it, if he's got a gulag. Oh, there he is. He's back. And there we go. I just got a self res, so that must be someone else. That must have been the guy that killed him. Gas and closing. Get to the new yeah, it was. Oh, durable gas mask. I love that. Right, I think we're going to need to go over there. There's people fighting, look. I'm not that confident with this sniper. I'm trying to use a right, a right tech with the Harbinger Barrel, which actually reduces recoil by like 76%. So you can sort of really be confident with those follow-up shots. But it is a bit tricky. Into oh. the, area. Watch the, skies. the loser of that fight is back. There he is on the UAV. I'm guessing he's getting his guns and stuff, so be advised, it's not going to be a simple off. case RTV of just rushing him. Supply. There he is. Right, slow bullet velocity for this. Terrible. Fancy just suddenly starting sprinting as I pull the trigger. Typical. I think he went in here. Yep, there he is. His gun's poking out. I'm not sure how the hitboxes work exactly, so I'd... I can't really take that shot. It'd probably only be like an extremity shot or something and it'll do like 95 damage and I need that that big 250 there he is oh my god that horizontal recoil then it went all the way to the left how weird was that oh god gas is closing get to the new safe zone Oh, damn. Stun got me. I couldn't move. Why didn't... I'm surprised my mind didn't go off. I was quite camouflaged there. Oh, well. Sniper let me down. The growl was really good. Oh, there's the armor break, I suppose. Extra little bit of damage. Not that it matters. That's it. Back out. 